Hey guys, in this video, I wanna show you how to create a transaction. So in this video, we've already written an offer, the offer's been accepted, and now we're creating a transaction inside of Skyslope. So I'm gonna jump into Skyslope here. So if you remember what we talked about in other videos, we do all of our paperwork in the forms section. And so let's say I wrote an offer on 1849 Easton Lane for Buyer Byerton. I'm gonna click him. You're gonna see these are the documents I've got. I've got them signed. You can see the envelopes that I've sent and gotten signatures back on. Um, so I am going to uh, go back into Skyslope. And now I'm ready to write create transaction. So we don't use the create transaction process until an offer is accepted. And we don't lose the create listing process until a listing is active on the MLS. So let's say I've got my offer submitted, it's accepted. Now I'm ready to create the transaction. So how would you like to create your file? So since you've already written all the documents uh, in forms and gotten them signed and got them sent back, I'm gonna find that form that I created and I'm gonna select that one. So you can see uh, 1849 Easton Lane Buyer Byerton. This is the form and the envelope that I sent to get signed. So I'm gonna click select. So it's gonna pull all that data in from that form and those documents uh, and I'm gonna be able to create it here. So I'm just gonna fill everything else out that has the red asterisk. So I got uh, MLS number, checklist type. This is going to be a uh, residential sale buyer. This is gonna determine what documents are required from me by telling Skyslope what kind of transaction it is. Uh, type of representation, it's a purchaser tenant. The year built, it's 2023. Sales price, um, again, we're kind of gathering information here uh, the source how did i this is asking where did this lead come from uh, maybe i picked this buyer up at an open house is this an office lead i'm gonna put no this my broker my team leader no one gave me this lead i captured it so i'm gonna say no the acceptance date uh, we're just gonna say it was accepted yesterday and the closing date put uh, whatever that is so we've filled out the basic transaction data and now we're gonna click next it's going to ask me about um, contact information. So you see up here, uh, there was a transaction tab that we created. Now it goes to the contact tra uh, contract tab. When I'm done here, it's going to go to a commissions tab. Then it's going to go to a checklist tab. So I'm kind of working my way through these tabs, filling out all of this transaction information. So the buyer, uh, so the seller landlord, um, I don't know the seller's information. So I'm going to type TBD. Uh, it's going to fill information there. Then I'm gonna hit save. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to my purchaser tenant. Uh, so buyer, Byerton. He's got his email, his known phone number in here, all the things with the asterisks on them. I'm gonna hit save. You'll notice on the left side, as I complete these, it's going from a red asterisk to a green check mark. So you wanna make sure they have green check marks. Now I'm to my title company. Um, so this is where I can type in uh, Christy Cena. American Eagle, they're at uh, 405 and it's uh, Christy at Am Eagle. So you'll figure that out. We're gonna hit save, green check mark. We're gonna go to the agent. So this is the other agent, the other uh, whoever it might be. Um, so I'm gonna do agent, agent, agent Thurton. Uh, his phone number. Uh, agency brokerage save lender who's my lender it's gonna be Shelby Weston That's hometown lenders and they are a FHA buyer so everything with an asterisk has been filled out I hit save now you can see all those asterisks have turned into green check marks so I'm good to go over here hit submit and it's gonna take me to the next tab, which is commissions. So what is my commission on this? I'm getting 3% on the sales side. Uh, do you have any transaction fee that you're gonna add? So I have a $300 um, uh, transaction free brokerage commission. So I have a $300 transaction fee. going to ask any other uh, earnest money deposits and stuff like that. It's going to need to know if it's a referral. Is there anyone else to pay? No, there's no other referral on this. And then I can add any other uh, extra information like I'm charging $300 fee paid 
to Brett Prager. Anything else you want to put in here uh, that you think the processor might know to make it easier for them, put that in here. Then we're gonna hit submit. And now we're to the checklist. Those were all the documents that we're gonna need. So you can see the sales documents are in this section. Uh, the reports that they're gonna want are in this section, closing documents. Don't get stressed out by all the red. We're not gonna need all this right away. Um, but what we're going to do is uh, kind of go through and upload each of these items. So we can go the acknowledgement and confirmations. We can go through and upload. These are actually part of the contract, so that's a little tricky, so we'll do that in a minute. Uh, but you can do disclosure of brokerage duties. We're gonna click add. I'm gonna come in here and click uh, disclosure of brokerage services. We're gonna hit assign. And you'll see that it is assigned here. Now it's in review. Uh, buyer cost, uh, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go through here and just assign all of these documents. And you'll notice these documents are the ones that we sent through the envelope um, in a prior video that we sent to get signed. And so when we created this transaction using that client, it brought all these documents in here for them. And so that's what we're doing here. So I'm grabbing the uh, residential sales, kind of going through here, the finance addendum. Residential property condition disclosure, a disclaimer, but we put that there. Earnest money receipt, I don't have yet. Wire fraud, I got that. Uh, MLS compensation agreement, we don't need that yet. And the affiliated business disclosure, I got that. So all those documents I got signed are in here. Uh, and so you can see most. Uh, of those documents were in the template that I signed and got uh, that I that I pulled in, got signed, and now they're all here. So at this point, I'm done creating the transaction. Now all these in review. Uh, if you've used other systems like Dot Loop, you would have had to click a button that says submit for review. Skyslope automatically sends notifications to the processor when they're in review. So you don't need to do anything. It will go to them. You may receive an email uh, a day or two later saying, hey, you're missing this or hey, this disclosure of brokerage duties is wrong. It needs to say this or so they're going to audit it, send you a message uh, on what needs to be done. You can also see that in the log or the tasks. Uh, anytime someone says something or does something, it'll be in the log uh, as well as the tasks. The processor will go through here, put that information. So also, if you just receive a document from a title company, maybe you receive the Alta statement or um, something signed by the other agent, you can come into documents and you can just upload a document and then you can come into the checklist and assign that document to whatever you want. So maybe the title company sends you the earnest money receipt. You come into documents, um, you can upload the earnest money receipt and then come back into checklist and you can go to earnest money receipt, attach, and you can get it. Or you can just upload it straight right here as well. So that's it for the transaction. Now you've got the transaction created. The processor can now um, audit it, tell you what you're missing, if anything, and then you can start having a dialogue with that uh, transaction coordinator to get everything you need on the transaction. So again, we do everything in the forms in the beginning, and then once the contract is accepted, then we create the transaction and go through that process. So I hope that was helpful. Um, any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, we'll go on to the listing section.